Hi, welcome to my channel. Um, today I am talking, I want to talk about what you might call backwards manifesting or um, inside out or upside down, whatever. Something I've been doing with one certain thing for a long, long time. I, I didn't kind of put it together what, with what Neville taught, but uh, and I kind of since have. I don't know why I didn't, because I've known about the ladder experiment for a long time and I've actually done that too. So I'm gonna go into that after, but first of all, let me just tell you what I've been doing. So I um, don't, I don't say I don't sleep well, I do. Once I'm asleep, I'm asleep. There's no waking me at all <laughs> once I'm asleep, but it's getting to sleep. So I could lie in bed for two hours probably before I fall asleep. That was my norm, I got used to that. I'm not an insomniac or anything like that, but I just have trouble getting to sleep, quieting my, quietening my mind, um, just in general. I'm a fidget as well, so I used to try and tell myself, you can fall asleep easily, you can fall asleep, you will fall asleep, blah, 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 blah. Never ever worked for me, so I stopped doing it. And then, it's about six months ago, I guess, I just had this urge to say, you won't fall asleep, you can't fall asleep, you can't get to sleep, you will not fall asleep in a minute. Who's <laughs> doing this? And then the next day I woke up and I thought, oh God, I went to sleep really quickly last night. Hmm. I was saying I won't fall asleep. I don't know why I started saying that. I have an intuitive nudge to say it, basically. So I thought to myself, well, there's definitely something in this. Okay, it's because I don't have the resistance there. I'm still saying, talking about sleep, still talking about sleeping, but I'm not adding any resistance, trying to tell myself I can do something when I'm feeling the resistance. So I do it every single time I feel like I'm gonna to struggle to get to sleep tonight, I say, you're not gonna fall asleep in a minute. You won't fall asleep. You cannot fall asleep. You do not want to fall asleep. I do not want to fall asleep. That's what I often say. I do not want to fall asleep right now. Every morning I wake up, I think, wow, <laughs> it was only a few minutes later I must have gone off because I don't remember anything from that point. So it's been working absolute wonders for me. I haven't really used it with anything else, only because, I don't know, there's no reason for it really, because I don't put any effort into manifesting anyway. And then I, something came up in my feed and it was a guy talking about this very thing and saying it was a Neville thing. And I thought, is it? I've never heard that that was a Neville thing. And then I thought, oh, the ladder experiment, of course. Yeah, it is a Neville thing. Where you imagine yourself climbing a ladder, you feel it, you feel the rungs under your feet. And I've done this. Um, and I did climb a ladder. Two days later, I went up into my mum's loft, used the ladder, didn't think anything of it till about two days after that, because it's such a simple task, isn't it? And then you do that, and then you say to yourself, I will not climb a ladder, I will not climb a ladder. Um, so what Neville was really trying to say is, the resistance isn't there then, because you're saying, I will not do it. So you kind of open yourself up a little bit more, because you're saying, I won't do it, but your subconscious is still getting the climb a ladder. It doesn't really take note of, I won't, or I can't, or I don't want, or anything like that. It just seems to take note of the actual topic. Well, you know that when you've manifested things you didn't really want to show up in your reality, but you've thought about them, you didn't want them, and you've ended up with them showing up in your reality because that's what your kind of key focus is. Mine was sleep, so, or mine is sleep. I'll probably do that tonight, I'll probably do that tomorrow night. I mean, I do it more often than not. It's very rare that I actually go to bed. Sometimes I am exhausted if I've got up particularly early and I will just fall asleep, but generally not. So I do this every time and I've, it's never not worked. So I was thinking about this in conjunction with other things because when we really really want something we have that resistance there if we try to affirm that we already have it generally often well generally most often than not it doesn't work because we want it too much and the less we want something the more chance we've got of it showing up in our life we know that because the, and that's simply because the resistance isn't there you think about something it shows up in your life you think about a person they call you this is where we want to be at that point. So you, if you've been trying to manifest, especially a specific person for a long time, and you've been saying, I, um, you know, you've been affirming that you already have them in your life, start saying you don't want them. You cannot lose anything. Don't be scared of this because what can you lose? You don't have them at the moment anyway. And you're not going to by keep affirming and affirming and affirming with the opposite energy. So just start saying, I don't want, um, I always use my dad's name, but I won't say I don't want Pete to call me. So I would say, um, I don't want, I don't want Alex, sorry, I've just plucked that name out of thin air. I don't want Alex to call me. I don't want Alex to call me. I do not want Alex to call me. Alex better not call me, okay? All of that kind of stuff, any of those phrases that imply that you don't want it. Because 
it's two different things here. If I, if I want an appointment cancelled or something, I can feel really strongly, I do not want that to happen. I need that to be cancelled. I do not want it. And I really tap into the feeling of do not wanting it. Now that is different than this. You are not really tapping into the feeling if you do not want it because it's not true. You do actually want it. You are just tricking yourself, basically tricking your, your mind knows, but you're tricking your subconscious, basically. Um, so you are taking away that element of resistance. It will feel different. You say it, say that you want it or and then say that you don't want it and see what the different energy is around both of them it is not going to harm you in any way it does not mean that the universe is going to hear and go oh they don't want alex now that's nonsense okay it's nothing to do with that you know what you want and ultimately if you're scared of doing this don't do it because you'll have resistance but if you think oh what have i got to lose why not do it like i said it works a treat for me if i go to bed tonight and say i'm going to fall asleep i'm going to fall asleep any minute now i find it easy to fall asleep i won't fall asleep i know that because there's a slight element of resistance there but if i say i won't then i will <laughs> you know so it's because you're resisting. If you're wanting something, part of you is resisting it. If you're saying that you're going to do something or have something that you're wanting to manifest, part of you internally is resisting it. But if you say the opposite, and it's okay if you resist the opposite, isn't it? Because then you'll get the opposite of that, which is what you do want. I mean, who knows? This stuff is crazy, isn't it? But Neville did say, and I think he called it the not not manifesting or something like that i can't remember exactly what it is but he did and now the more i've looked into it the more i've seen that he did talk about that and i just completely that completely passed me by but i've been doing it and it's been working for me so maybe try something that you want um that you don't crazy crazy want you know have a, have a little go at something and see if you can just have a practice and see what i'm saying don't be scared of it that's the key thing here do not be scared of saying you don't want something because you're not getting it anyway at the moment what harm is it going to do to do a little practice if you're a little bit scared of doing it say this to yourself i'm practicing something different but if this doesn't work for me and i feel uncomfortable with it i'm going to go back to my old way um but I'm going to give this a go and it's okay for me to do that. Please do not see this as a negative because you can instruct yourself absolutely anything. Give it a go. What you got to lose? Nothing. Okay, thanks for watching. I'm an author. All of my books are listed below. I offer Zoom coaching, email coaching. I have no Zoom coaching now until January. I'm completely booked up and I'm finishing next week. So, uh, but you can still pop along to my website. There's a few that I've put up for January. Um, not loads, but I will put some more up when I get around to looking at those dates and seeing what I can do. But at the moment, there, there are a few dates on there if you want to choose one of those. Thanks for watching.